So guys, let's take a moment here and appreciate Tesla as a software company and everything they have achieved to give us the very best in-car experience when it comes to touchscreen displays. They've pretty much set the standards for in-car user experience and years later, there is still nothing in comparison. Of course, there are a couple companies out there that drop a ton of new features, but most of them being impractical, feels rushed, and a lot of them are just used to prove a point. And on that topic, we will be discussing about Tesla's new feature that they are going to be dropping with this new software update and I will be talking about that later down in the video. So if you weren't aware, prior to December 31st of 2021, all of us had a software running in our vehicles that resembled something very close to an older version of an iPhone. There were no app drawers, there were no customizable apps and everything was in black and white. It was quite hard to distinguish the different buttons at a quick glance because they all looked the same but in all honesty it was not too bad and I personally really like the minimalistic design design, but I do totally understand why Tesla went for the newer colors. But pretty much, this update here that you are now experiencing on your car was one of the biggest change to ever have happened inside of the UI. Things that you are pretty much familiar with right now, such as games, boombox, the light show, and the blind spot camera, these are all things that came with what they called version 11 of the software. And of course, they continue to improve and iterate on this software, and this is the exact one that you you are running in your vehicles as of right now and it is practically the only one that is really working in any type of car and in fact the overall experience is so good in Tesla's right now running the Ryzen chips that it is very comparable to a lot of tablets out there including the newer iPads so this goes to show how much effort the software team is putting into each one of these releases making it better faster and smoother each and every single one that you update into your car but now here's the thing as we started to move Move into different products and vehicles, we started to notice the disparity between the different UIs and functions throughout the cars. Take for example, the Cybertruck versus the Model 3. The Cybertruck's UI is a beast on its own, no pun intended, but this is something that is completely new, something that is different than any other model out there right now. There are a ton of things within the Cybertruck software that looks completely new, such as the look, the menus, the options, and so much more. Then there's also the fact that the biggest part part of the UI is going to be the rendering or the visualization and the Cybertruck's visualization is extremely large compared to any of the other vehicles. Then you also have the location and the map proportion. One is sitting at the top right corner whereas the other one is taking three-fourths of the screen. So quite honestly, I think this is where the problem really lies. Tesla really wants to make the Cybertruck extremely nice and very different and they want to make the Model S and X extremely premium but now seeing that they are completely different from each other other, from the 3 to Y, from the S and X, and to the Cybertruck, they really want to make them very uniform and very easy to understand. So now, this is where Tesla has finally answered our calls. With the introduction of version 12 of the software, they are going to be making it all uniform. We are going to be seeing one of the biggest software UI updates we've ever seen before. Just earlier today, Tesla's official Twitter page has announced this newer software, coming with a bunch of features and upgrades coming to all models. This will once again overhaul the entire UI, giving us a brand new, fresh look and full-on experience of what we can expect in future vehicles. With this update here, there are features we've been longing for and waiting for for a very long time. Things such as previewing sentry mode on your phone after an event and the are we there yet feature has been along on our wish list. Then there are things that we've been practically begging all along and one of them being the hands-free trunk opening. This feature here is crazy, incredible you have not seen it until you've really experienced it in person. There are times that my wife would be parked next to a Mercedes or practically any new SUVs built today and see that the auto trunk is opening and then we would have a long drive back home talking about why we purchased a Tesla over any other car. But now that it has finally happened, I can tell her that all Teslas moving forward will get this feature and it will be a lifesaver when you go on those big Costco runs and your hands are completely full. You can just stand behind the trunk and it will automatically pop up as long as you have your phone or your key card next to you. Now there are so many features within this update that I can't possibly go through all of them today but I will have a dedicated video on each and every single video. I'll try to clump them together and talk about all the details and functionality and capability that it's able to do. And the biggest question here is whether it's going to be available on your car or is it not and why it may not be retrofitable or if it really is. I'll be talking all about that in the next or 
for the following video. So make sure you stick around and hit that subscribe button and the bell notification if you haven't already done so. But all in all, I am just super happy that Tesla is doing this and listening to their customers. This is going to be a feature that I will be using on a daily basis and hopefully they continue to add more of these features that we use often and continue to iterate on all of the features that we don't use as of right now. Now as for the UI, this is going to be a complete overhaul but in a very familiar way. The bottom menu bar is going to be staying in place and nothing is going to be changing there or if anything it's going to be very minor. This is so that you can ensure muscle memory is still there and all your buttons are going to remain. The thing that is changing with all of this is that Tesla is going to incorporate the full widescreen aspect of everything that you are seeing on your display right now. This means that map, navigation, renderings, and vehicle display are going to take the entire proportion of your screen. It's just going to be a lot better overall and you're really going to enjoy what the changes are going to be coming. The biggest one here that you're probably going to notice right off the bat and the biggest change is going to be the rendering of your car. It's going to be a lot easier to access and navigate as it is now dead center and proportionally probably two times larger than it currently is. Then you also notice that your driving visualization for autopilot is going to be expand towards the entire screen is going to be a lot bigger and it's going to be a lot easier to see all the vehicles and objects around you. For those hoping for the full self-driving beta or full self-driving supervised visualization, this is really going to be the answer to all your problems. This is going to give you exactly what FSD is like without the actual FSD part about it. You won't have to spend a single dollar to get practically the same full self-driving visual visualizations minus some additional cards and objects that you won't get if you don't subscribe to the service but it's going to be pretty much the same everything is going to be just that much bigger and that much easier to see the other noticeable thing you'll probably see right off the bat is going to be the location of the map and the transparency and the size of it it is now pushed over to the right corner just as the Cybertruck is and that is going to make room for the rest of the visualization of course if you don't don't like this you can always swipe it back and you'll still get the full half screen but it is nice that it's still there rather than just the text from full self driving. So yeah, overall, this is going to be a really big upgrade and I don't want to get too long into this video. We'll save that for the next, but as of right now, we are going to be getting some really amazing features. We've been asking for all this time. Tesla has said that this is slated for a spring release, which we are in right now. So if it happens in the next couple days or the next couple weeks, we are surely going to be getting it this spring right before summer happens. So just wait out for it. I will be keeping you as posted as possible as soon as it releases and on everything else that comes up. So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, that bell notification if you haven't already done so. And follow me on Twitter or X at HeyJohnE. Over there, you can DM with me, chat with me anytime, and I'll try to respond as quickly as possible. And if you want to support the channel, I do have a Patreon link I'll drop in the description below. But this should be it for this one. I'll see you in the next. This is John. Once again, peace out.